Catherine Bleich here with SovereignLiving.tv and the Blush Family Farm with a garden update. Today, our strawberry bed is doing really well. You can see there's still some flowers. There was one strawberry, but it had been roly-poly attacked. Over here in our flower bed, you'll see that Morning Glory has started growing. These, those, those heart-shaped leaves right there. Those grow up the trellises on our patio and uh, they end up encapsulating our entire patio into a room of green, so I'm pretty excited about that. Right here we have some aloe vera transplants from an aloe vera plant that had developed root rot. So this is my first time trying to clone aloe vera. We'll see if it works. I read online how to do it. As the flower bed continues, we've got tomato plants that are doing pretty well. We've got onions that are starting to bulb up, and we have chives, which leads us to the corner where we have morning glory, or excuse me, catnip, and then mint with more onions. Coming back to the beds, this bed has some squash and cucumber transplants in it, except they were attacked by the chickens. There's only one, two, three. You can see that one back there in between all the onions. Peas are doing okay. They're kind of yellow. This is a sunflower. It's getting huge. It hasn't started to flower yet. Over here we have another bucket with peas. Those ones are doing a little bit better. I think the other one might be too full, so water and nutrients are running over the top. This is my favorite bed, as always. It's a companion planted bed with tomatoes that are popping up. That's this right here. These wispy plants are asparagus. Down there you see clover, which I'm letting grow for the chickens to eat, and parsley. Parsley, asparagus, and tomatoes are all companion plants, doing really well. I'm not sure what this herb is. It's coming out of a spot where I planted herbs last year, and right there in the middle. So I don't want to pull it until I know what it is. But I don't think it's a weed because it's they're only growing in spots where I planted some herbs. And there's some same plant in the back. They're not growing in the beds anywhere, just in the outer corners. I found a random broccoli plant that has gone to seed in this bed. So I'm just going to leave it and let it volunteer. This is our onion bed. You'll see some have gone to seed. We've had a crazy weather pattern of up down up down temperatures so some of the onions have gone to seed I was worried at first because these hadn't been bulbing up but you'll see down here that red onions nice and big and the white onions started bulbing up a little bit later so over here here's the flower bed that we came up looking around come around the corner tomato plants rocking doing really well Here's our gigantic mint plant that Aliana was just playing in. So it's a little squished. You'll see more morning glory coming up right here. See the heart-shaped leaves? So I am going to have to thin that out. But eventually this whole patio, the walls will be covered with morning glory. I mean, I'll be excited to show you that later. Uh, tomato plant flowering, parsley. Our rose bush needs to be pruned. It's huge. It's in the walkway. Cilantro that has gone to seed. Cilantro seeds are known as the spice coriander. Garlic. Starting to bulb up. I just pulled one out to check. I don't know what these blue flowers are right here. Let me see if I can focus on it. But I keep them in the garden to attract bees. Chives. There's the onion bed. Another onion bed. Onion. Two different types of kale over there. Dinosaur kale. And then I don't remember what that type of kale is called. But the one in the back is pretty large. And our poor tomato bed was really not coming up anymore after the roly poly attack. And now it is just being overgrown with grass. So I don't know if there are potatoes growing in there or not. It makes me kind of nervous. But anyway, there's our quick little garden update on the Blush Family Farm. Keep in touch with us, blushfamilyfarm.com, for a photo blog.
SovereignLiving.tv for lots of blog posts and video updates, and the Center for Natural Living.org. Peace and love.